Welcome back to the channel. This is Pink Lady, and today I decided we're going to do another top 10 favorite Disney, top 10 favorite Disney, whatever, Disney things, whatever you want to call it. But this time we're going to do my favorite top 10 favorite Disney sidekicks from mostly animated movies. I'm not, I, I, there, there is some that go with the, um, whole real life one so but we're gonna stick with animated so this is my opinion so please don't hold it against me that if I'm wrong if I didn't put certain characters on you never know I might do another top 10 with them because I mean there's like a whole bunch of them but for this first first top 10 um, side kids this is my opinion only and I yeah <laughs> I don't know why I did that but anyways guys let's get into it my 10 favorite sidekick is Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio. Yeah, I mean, some people might want to say he wants to be hi higher, but, you know, he was a good character, and I had to at least put him on the top 10 this time because, you know, he was Pinocchio's conscience. He was telling Pinocchio from right and wrong, even though Pinocchio didn't listen to him all the time. Like, how much do we listen to our own conscience, guys? Sometimes our consciences talk to us, too, but... Sometimes we listen and sometimes we don't. I mean, it's a give and take on that. But he was a very genuine character and I loved him, you know. And I love the song, Wish Upon a Star, that he actually sings in the movie. And, you know, and he went through a lot with with um, Pinocchio. And you know what? I'll give you this. A cricket can survive underwater. At least that's what they tell us in Pinocchio because... Jiminy Cricket actually survived in water. Most bugs don't. But, yeah, th that's the reason why he's on my least in my top ten. Because, you know, he was his conscience, you know. And he was, you know, a very big help in the movie. So, props to you, Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> so, my ninth place is Louis from Princess and the Frog. I enjoyed him as a character. He was such an ambitious alligator. <laughs> That he wanted just all he wanted to do was to play his trumpet, and nobody would give him the time of day. And I felt so bad for him, but you know, but he was very determined alligator to be able to play with all the other people that play jazz and all that and the whatever the blues, whatever they were doing, reggae. I don't know what they were doing. Yeah, I don't remember the music exactly, but you know, he was good. And the only time he ever got to got to play was during Mardi Gras because, you know, everybody kind of dressed up as Mardi Gras so he could get by with it, no one really no, realizing he was a real alligator. But, but then, then again, he did show himself because he was trying to save his friends. But he's a very genuine, genuine character. And he helped Tiana and Prince Naveen get to, well, kind of to Mama Odie, but, you know, but he did try. <laughs> but he's a very lovable character. It's like you almost want to hug him, even though he's an alligator. <laughs> but, anyways, guys, my eighth place is Lumiere from um, Beauty and the Beast. I like Lumiere because he's just, he's a very interesting character. He's a very lovable character, as in, like, he loves all the women, basically. Well, you know, in, in, in some sort, <laughs> even though he was a candelabra. But he was a very smooth guy. I liked his song from Be Our Guest. He made Belle feel a lot more welcome. Like, he, he actually helped Belle get to where she was in the castle. Otherwise, she would probably still be in that tower, whatever that was. So, I mean, come on. I mean, he was he helped her a lot without, it's like, without really her knowing. Like, he'd be able to, you know, tell us, hey, why don't you go put her in the room? You know, blah, 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 blah. The, you know, she's a girl. Come on, wake up! Like, oh, well, I mean, he was very, just as much to um, Beast as telling him, like, come on, dude, you gotta do this. You can't just hold back what you got. <laughs> but, so, yeah, that's why he's there. I know he could be higher because he's from my favorite movie, but I still love him as he is. So, Lemire, go for you. <laughs> my seventh spot has to go to Abu from Aladdin. Who doesn't want a good sidekick as a monkey? 
who does it? And it does actually help you. Well, so I don't condone stealing, but for the movie purposes, who wouldn't want to help steal? But that steal something for you and or help you steal something, you know, you know, your diversion and stuff like that. But like I said, I don't condone stealing, guys. I'm just talk, talking in movie sense, not in real life. <laughs> so clarifying right there. And also, I mean, he was just a cute little monkey. He was very cute and he was very curious and he was a lovable monkey too. He he even felt bad, you know, without, you know, giving his bread to the kids that needed food. But and also, he could be a little pain too because, you know, like, lad don't, don't touch anything and he did touch something. But like I said, all monkeys are curious, the shiny things, I think. Pretty much they are. So, I'll give him that, I guess. I'll guess. But, so, yeah. Abu, the cute monkey, got number seven. Um, my sixth spot has to go to Baloo from The Jungle Book. I like Baloo because he just had no cares. Like the song says, bare necessities. He can live off the the barest of bare the the bareness. Think that's a word. And you know, and just doesn't care. You know, he just lives as he is. He doesn't worry about work or anything like that. And like he says, I mean, you see that honey bee. He's like, you know, that bee. He's like, nah. -uh. If you think of the bee, you're working too hard. You know, you just need to relax, enjoy life. Don't. I mean, yeah, sometimes in life you do have to get to what you need, but in all in all, guys, you do need to take the time to be like, just relax, you know, do a little carefree time, you know, you know, it just, it helps. Otherwise, we all be stressed, we all be all stressed up up the wall if we don't take care of ourselves. And some people don't get that, but there is some people that do. So, you know, sometimes the carefree thing usually works just out just as well. So, I mean... I think that's why Baloo deserves to be up there is because, you know what, sometimes we need to take time for ourselves and just relax. <laughs> and so, but now guys, we're up to the top five. My fifth person that I have on my list is Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. Okay, come on. She helps you fly, guys. She has to at least be in the top five because, come on, you need faith trust and pixie dust to be able to fly so I'd rather have that sidekick to give you the pixie dust so you can be able to fly and plus he's kind of cute too with her little emotions and like everybody says guys they're so small they can only harbor one emotion at a time so basically she had a lot of the anger she had a lot of the jealousy in there I mean I think that's pretty much all she had most of it was anger because she just didn't like Wendy like I said she was obsessed with Peter Pan and it does kind of show too in other versions of Peter Pan too, like Hook and stuff like that. I mean, not so much in Hook, but you could tell there was that underlining thing, I guess. But, but anyways, but yeah, I, I mean, come on, I'd rather fly. I would love to fly one day, and then if that has to happen, I hope I can find a pixie, <laughs> find a fairy, like Tinkerbell, to help me fly. That'd be so cool. And go to Neverland, guys. And just remember, guys, second star of the ride is straight on till morning. That's how you get to Neverland. <laughs> yeah, right. Some random stuff there, guys. Whatever. All right. Number four on my list is Archimedes from Sword in the Stone. A lot of you guys don't know about a Sword in the Stone because it's not as a very popular Disney movie, but it was a very, very... I highly recommend it to go actually go watch that movie because it does, it's just kind of another twist on... King Arthur and stuff like that, and the sword and stuff, you know, then the sword and the stone and stuff, and how King Arthur became king and stuff. But Archimedes is an owl with Merlin, and I like him because he kind of he has a humor to him, but it, it it balances out the humor of what Merlin does. It's more that almost like dry sense of humor. I don't know if it's really dry, but it's like he he's not the funny funny type. It's just more like Oh, like a snide, like, oh, comment type thing, but it makes it funny in the same sense. I think that's how I'm going to put it, but if that does not make sense, sorry, guys. I tried. But but he does help, too, you know. He's more the, uh, the realistic character. Like, he puts the stuff, like, in realistic time. Like, this is what's going to happen. If you do this, you're, it's going to happen. So, and sometimes he helps, and he helps um, King Arthur, too. Like, he helps him to fly and all that jazz, you know. And... 
and teaches him more the realistic side of stuff. As Merlin's more the fun side, we got Archimedes and the Owl being more the serious side. But it's a good combination and it's so funny. I love watching it and it's one of my fav one of my top favorite ones of a movie of a like a historical movie even though it's I don't you know there's so many versions of King Arthur out there but in all in all if they want to put that as one of the versions I like that version just as much but all right guys top three yay um but my third favorite Disney sidekick is Mushu from Milan come on guys who doesn't want a dragon who wants a dragon as a sidekick trust me he was so much fun I like Eddie Murphy as his voice and stuff. He made it fun of a movie. I enjoyed it so much. I mean, and him trying to be, I want to be a guardian type thing and all that. And him actually biting guys' butts. And he was like, that's the best way. He, like, he took himself to the extreme there. But he did help Milan a lot through her journeys and stuff like that. So I enjoyed that so much. And he was a com common com comedic relief. I think it's how you said I don't know if I said that right or not. I don't know, guys. But he was a really good relief for that, and I enjoyed that so, so, so much. He was so much fun. I mean, come on. Did you see the hunt? They popped out like daisies. <laughs> oh, but he did help a lot with Milan, you know. He tried, at least. In some ways, he did try, and sometimes he actually did help. So, it's like a 50-50 with Mushu. He was kind of not a helpful person, then he was a helpful person. So, Mushu's there. I love him. I love a dragon. Be nice to have... You could be able to have dragons as a pet, but, yeah, that's not going to happen in this, this realm of the world, I guess, if you want to call it. So, anyways, guys, my second favorite Disney circuit is... Thumper from Bambi. Yeah, you guys, that's kind of weird having Thumper as the second one, right? Because it's an older movie and everything. But I have a special connection with Thumper. I always loved him from the first time I ever watched Bambi on my VH VHS tape, which some of you guys might not know a lot of my younger viewers. If you don't know what a VHS tape, I'll show you a picture here. But my, I had, as a kid, a VH tape that had different movies on him. Like, I think I had about four or five, I think. But yeah, I had a few. And Bambi was on it. It was Bambi, and then it was Cinderella. Then it was Land Before Time, and then it was Sleepy Beauty. But Bambi was the first one. And you know what? And I did, and you know what? And I've always loved Thumper because he was the only boy out of his little whatever bunny group with his mom because <laughs> he had like the rest of them were sisters so he was the only boy but he had this little thumping going on with his foot going thump 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 well my special connection to that was I had my tonsils came out as an adult guys and I'll tell you what having your tonsils out not a good thing it sucks if you could get them as a kid I hope I highly recommend it to get it as a kid but as an adult it sucks and it actually hurts a lot longer than probably a kid does but no as an adult I had my tonsils taken out well I was in the process of healing and I was able to have certain foods again well I ate some um I think some hot soup or something I don't know what it was of some soup but it was a soup I know it was a soup well I wasn't fully healed up but I mean but I was still getting there because it was just some stuff that needed to get out well I ate a bite of soup I sat there and I swallowed and it hurt like it hurt like Dickens and I started doing this on the table I started doing this like thumping type thing because it hurt and my mom started laughing at me because she's like oh my god you are a thumper <laughs> because I just literally would just do this the whole entire time like thumper did in the movies and stuff so there's my special connection with thumper so yeah it was a sight to see I didn't like it because you know of course I was hurting but my mom was laughing at me because I look like Thumper because I was sort of just pounding like like how Thumper does pound so she says oh you're a Thumper so I got that nickname too <laughs> it's one of my nicknames I have in my life but so yeah that's why Thumper's up there because I do have a special connection with him well not like totally connection but kind of a connection and plus I like his own line if they're like Thumper, what is did you I think it was like his dad said and and he goes, If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. And that went through the whole entire movie, which I thought was funny as ever. But 
All right, guys, here comes number one on the list, and it's Genie from Aladdin. Yes, guys, Genie is a sidekick. Some people don't think he is, but he actually is a sidekick in the movie of Aladdin. But I have to put him at the top, at the top, because for one, Robin Williams, I do love him as an actor and a voice actor. And two, he was just that one character you just loved through the whole entire movie of Aladdin whenever he showed up. He, he was another com comedic, comedic, I don't even know how to say it, but he was for the funny relief in the, in the movie. I mean, and plus with Robin Williams, with him, with the, you know, different, he put different voices in there, like, you know, from different uh, other actors and stuff. It was really, really cool. He did help Aladdin a lot, too, with, you know, with Princess Jasmine and stuff, trying to tell him, like, be yourself. Come on, you don't need to be acting like a prince or anything. You just need to be yourself. She loves you. She loved you before you were, like, not a so-called prince, you know, even though he wasn't really a prince. But, you know, still, she loved you then. Why would she not love you now? But, you know, and he, and he trusted Aladdin to free him, too. Which, you know, that's a lot of trust to put into somebody to free you from uh, kind of a prison of yourself, you know, of a, of a place. And, you know, and then him getting hurt about it, I would have gotten hurt about it. Because it was like a promise to me. Why would you, you know, come on, guys. So, but of all in all, too, it, it was because of Robin Williams, he made the character. He, and most of Jeannie's stuff was improvised through Robin Williams. Like, Disney gave him the threshold of opening up. I mean, all in all, I, I doubted that Disney would have put anything, you know, bad, but, but all in all, it was all in good taste, and it made the movie really, really awesome. And rest in peace, Robin Williams, we, you will be missed as the genie from Aladdin. And so, so, yes, guys, that is my top ten favorite Disney sidekicks. I hope you like my choices. If you don't, let me know down in the comments what your top ten favorite Disney sidekicks are. And also, just remember, it's my opinion. So, I mean, everybody has their own opinion. So, please don't hate mommy that I, you know, that I didn't do it the right way. So, anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. So, please like and share this video. And please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell down below to know when I post. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And also, just remember, you guys are all a book. And it's still being written. So, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!